Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see aggregate transformation in Power Center. Now, the main agenda of this video is like, uh, what is aggregate transformation? Why to use aggregate transformation followed by a quick demo. Now, what is aggregate transformation? Aggregate transformation is a transformation which performs aggregate calculations like sum, count, minimum, maximum, average, etc. So we know uh, it is used to perform aggregate calculations. So which are like some count, minimum, max, average. Now it is an active transformation. It is a connected transformation. Active transformation means the number of records that are passing into the transformation is not equal to the number of records that are outputting. So if you see aggregator, so if you pass 10 records, so if you're using some function, then it will sum all the 10 records and it will pass only few of the records. So that's why it is an active transformation. Next, it is a connected transformation and it has Input group, uh, input port, output port, variable port, group by expression. I will show you this. Why to use aggregate transformation? If you want to perform calculations on groups, that means instead of performing on row by row basis, expression helps you to perform on row by row. But instead of that, if you want to perform calculations on the groups, then we can go with, we need to go with aggregate transformation. You can provide aggregate function on any input port and check the group by port. Then the incoming rows are grouped based on the group by port and perform the aggregate function on the result and pass the result to the next transformation. This is how it happens. For example, if you want to find the count of products by grouping based on the product ID. So you have a products, so which are product IDs, which are repetitive, and you wanted to group based on the product IDs, and you want to find the count of products, then we need to use count of product ID, and we need to group by product ID. Here, product ID can be repetitive. Now let's start with a quick demo. Now before going into the power center, Let's see uh, the source table. Now we can see. So this is my source and we can see the product ID, product name, product price, product quantity and product ID is one and one. There are two ones and the same bread bread for the product price, 100 price I have and 200 price bread I have and the quantity is 10, 10. Now in the same way, two is a product ID and X. So there are two product products and one is product price is 10 and next one is 20 and the next one is cheese I have and next one is peanut butter I have. So this is my source table. Now what I need is I wanted to group by the product ID. That means one and one need to be one group and I need to find the count. So one and one if, you, if it, the count is two and two and two if I group the count is two and four is having only one. So the count is one and five is having only one. Now if I simply run this command, for example, if I simply run like this, now the count of product ID is six. That means you are not grouping anything. So it will just uh, count the number of products. So the number of products here are six. So that's why it is returning six. Now I want the count of products by grouping the product IDs. That means I need to group the based on the product IDs and I need to get the count. Now this is what uh, like if you, if I simply run like this, for example, count of product ID, I'm just adding group by product ID. Now if I run this, now you can see two, two, one, one. Now if I want to see the product ID as well, I am just simply putting product ID. Now I am going to run this query. Now we can see the output product ID. So product IDs will also get added. So one product ID is having two, uh, two uh, products and two product ID is having two products. Five is having one and four is having one. So like this, I wanted to perform the logic and, uh, and this is my target table. So which is empty. Now we can see count of product ID. So I, I need to perform the logic using power center and I, I need to load the data into count of product ID. Now I have already imported my source table, which is products one and the destination table, which is products one underscore TGT. Now the mapping, I'm going to take a mapping M underscore aggregator two. Now let me just use this source table and the target table. So we can see the target table is having one extra column, which is count of product ID. Now let me take a aggregator. So let me create the aggregator done. Now I'm going to pass all the records from source now here, if you see the ports, now we can see all the ports. As I mentioned in the PPT, input, output, variable ports are there and expression is there, group by. Okay, so this group by, so based on the which port you need to group by, you need to check that port. Now coming to the properties, we can see the catchy directory. So aggregator will internally create a catchy file. The two files it will create, a data catchy file and index catchy file. And so sorted input you can see. So sorted input, the main use of this is like if you are getting a sorted data, to the into the aggregator. For example, if you want to group by product ID, now if you are passing product ID in a descending order or in ascending order, then you can simply use sorted input. Then aggregator won't perform the logic once again. Sorted logic. Like aggregator data catchy size, this is a catchy size you can mention, and index catchy size in MB you can mention if you need. And coming to this, here I need product ID. So that's why 
i'm just defining o underscore product so this is a count of product so i'm just using count prod now i i am taking a uh, you can take a integer so if you want you can take integer or you can simply keep a string as well now this is an output port so when i creep as output port now you can see the expression got enabled now my requirement is i need to find the count of product id so i am just simply putting count of product underscore id now let me validate this the expression parser successfully which is fine now i am not grouping by product id so my requirement is to group by product id but simply i am not uh, grouping now now let me connect to target and let's see how the data gets loaded now let me save it is a valid now let me create a session i am creating a session reusable session s underscore now i am assigning this second mapping done and we need to give the source target connections i have given now the here you can see whatever the properties there we have set and let me create a workflow and let me create a now now before that let me check the truncate target table let me just put truncate target table option so before that before running the session it will truncate the data which is present in the target table now let me start the workflow now we can see the data in the target table it got count of product id so this is as expected we didn't group so that's why we have total 6 but why we got only one record so if you see if you just simply run this query so what is the output of this we are going to get count of product id 6 so we are going to get only one record so in the same way when we so in the same way when we define the mapping logic we got only one record so that means the last record so that means whenever you are not using any group by so you are getting a count of product id but you are getting a last record now let me go and check the group by port in the designer now i am checking group by port that means so whatever the data that comes into uh, aggregator so first it will group by the product id so for example first i am going to get one so it will keep one and next i am going to get two so next to uh, next again i am going to get two next again i am going to get one so one one will be grouped and it will find the count so there are no other ones so it will find the count so the count will be two and this will be written to the target now properties so sorted input i am not going to give right now so let me save this and let me rerun the session now we can see the target data loaded as expected so we can see the product id 2 is having count of 2 4 is having count of 1 5 is having 1 and 1 is having count of product id 2 but here the problem is we are not getting the sorted data so we are getting a randomly 2 4 5 1 so this is my source you can see 2 4 5 1 we are not getting the product id is in a sorted now let me give the sorted input option in the aggregator and let's try now i am just giving sorted input option the aggregator so as i told sorted input means if you are uh, if you are getting the sorted input of product id sorted in a sorted fashion then you need to use this option now let me use this option and let's see what happens now in the target table there is no records that got loaded now the reason why it is not loaded because from the source if you see we are get first uh, one will go to the aggregator and next to two will go to aggregator which is fine and two will go to aggregator which is fine so it is a sorted one now when when it comes to fourth record it is not sorted one now aggregator in aggregator we have mentioned you will get the sorted input then do, don't sort it again but we are getting one then aggregator will get angry and it will simply terminate the session now let's let me see the session log now we can see the session log whenever we are getting a row id fourth column so one bread 200 then aggregator got angry that we are not getting the product id in a ascending order or descending order in a uh, sorted input fashion so that's why a fatal error record transformation and the session is getting terminated now what i am going to simply do is creating a sorted transformation so before this aggregator what i am doing is i am simply creating a sorted transformation and sorter so this is my sorter s2 and here what i am going to do is i am passing all the fields from here to here and here i am passing all the fields to the aggregator now in the sorter what i am doing is i am simply checking the uh, product id so that means if you do check this product id that means sorter will internally sort the data 
uh, by using the product id and it will pass to the aggregator now aggregator is getting sorted input so that's why there won't be any issues sorted transformation we'll see in the next video the mapping is valid right now now we can see the in the target so the product ids are in a sorted fashion and you can see one is having two and two product ids is having two four is having one and five is having which is as expected so that is the main use of sorter and aggregator now the references for you is you can see this aggregator transformation a document so it which will be very nice and you can see this group by ports how to define the group by ports and also you can see our info support channel if you want to give our feedback you can give at support videos at informatica.com or our twitter channel thank you for watching this video